Hello, uh, I have here six wireless transmitters from two different brands, four from Axun and then two from Holland. There are several brands and several models out there. So how do you choose a wireless transmitter for your video production? In this video, I want to discuss four of those factors. There are several factors to consider, but let's just talk about four of them. The first factor I would like to consider is about the range of transmission. Now, in all these wireless transmitters, there are a set of transmitters. So we have a transmitter and then a receiver. So it's a system altogether. So the transmitter goes to where the feed is coming from. So either your camera or a computer or another monitor. And then the receiver goes to the final destination of that video feed. So either you are transmitting from a camera to a monitor, from a camera to a switcher, or from a camera uh, to another monitor, or from another monitor to a different monitor. So you have to determine where the transmitter goes and then where the receiver goes to. So the range of transmission. Now, most of these wireless transmitters will go, uh, let's say 450 feet. Some can even go up to 2.5 kilometers. So you need to know how long or the distance between your transmitter and then your receiver. So that should also inform which of the wireless transmitters you choose. The next thing I also want to talk about is latency. Latency just refers to uh, delay. So if you connect a transmitter to a camera and then the receiver is in, in a switcher, for example. Now, if uh, you, you pick a shot, what is the delay? Is it in real time? That is one of the things you should also consider. That's the latency. So sometimes you realize that uh, if you are in an environment or in a production environment where you have uh, cameras that are connected with physical cables and then you are using that in addition to wireless uh, transmitters, then it is important for the latency to be very, very close to zero as possible. So in the future, we are going to consider each of these uh, transmitters individually for you to know their specific uh, advantages and disadvantages they all have then that can also inform your decision. The next thing I want to discuss is the interface on your camera or where the feed is coming from. For example, if you are transmitting from a camera and then you are taking that feed into a switcher, what ports do you have available on your camera? So is it an SDI camera? Is it uh, an HDMI? In fact, after you, you, you select whether or after you realize that you have SDI or you have HDMI, there are several variations of HDMI. We have mini HDMI, micro HDMI, standard HDMI. And then when it gets to uh, the, the cameras too, we have mini SDI. There are even some that uses the DIN SDI. So you need to understand where or which port is available for, uh, on your device. So if it's a laptop, does your laptop have HDMI? And then from when you pick the feed from the laptop, where do you want to send the feed to? So if it is to a monitor, does the monitor also have HDMI? So you need to also consider the interface of the connection. So HDMI and SDI, and then the several variations of those HDMI and then SDI. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the resolution, okay? So you are transmitting a feed from a computer to a monitor. And then you want to transmit uh, 4K at 60 frames. Now that should inform the transmitters you choose because some transmitters only do 1080p 60. So if you want to transmit 4K at 60 frames, then those uh, transmitters will not be good for you. Okay, so you need to understand the resolution you are transmitting. So you need to transmit 1080p 50. You need to transmit uh, 4K at 30 frames. So understanding the resolution you have to transmit from your camera to the destination is also very, very, very important. Okay, so these are the four factors that we discussed. Okay, so the first, we consider the range of transmission. That means the distance between your transmitter and then your receiver. Secondly, the latency. Latency refers to the delay. Okay, so how uh, in real time, how do you see that feed that you are transmitting? Okay, so the th third thing we discuss is the interface. The interface that is available on your camera or your computer. Do you have an HDMI port? Do you have SDI port? And then the last thing we discussed was the uh, resolution you want to transmit. So are you transmitting 1080p 50? 
are you transmitting 4k if you are transmitting 4k are you doing 30 frames or you are doing 60 frames so if you are able to answer all these questions that should help you choose a particular brand and model for your project thank you very much for watching this video if you want to buy any of these wireless transmitters go to our website bellsmile.com place an order and it will be delivered to you you can even call the office and place the order on phone like this video and subscribe